Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. In this video I'll show to you guys how you can change your Outlook view or how you can reset your Outlook view to the default settings. Because of some updates that Microsoft may release on your Outlook, your view of your Outlook may change time by time. So that's why I'm going to show you some tricks how to reset the view of your Outlook or how to adjust the view of your Outlook by using some of the settings that Outlook is offering to us. So the first thing that you have to do, you have to open your Outlook obviously and then you click over view here at the toolbar and then you have these possibilities here which are change view, view settings and reset view. If you want to reset the view right away, you just click over reset view and it will reset all current view settings to the default settings for this folder. I'm just going to click on that one right now and let's see. Are you sure you want to reset the view preview to its original settings? Yes. So here you are. This is the original settings that it is regarding my case for the view. But I don't like it. So that's why I'm going to change it to exactly how I want to have the view of my emails. For that, we're going to click over change view and we have three options here. One of them is compact. And this is one of the options that you can use. The second one is single. And here we are. This is how it will look the order of your emails. But either way, I'm going to show you something. So we click on change view and then we select preview. And then you come over this part here, which is regarding layout. We can change the layout of the emails. So we click over folder pane, for example, and then we can play around with these options here. We make it minimize, we can make it off. So those folder panes that are here on the left, we can remove it at all, or we just keep it normal like they should be. Then we have the other possibility, the reading pane. Then the reading pane, we can change it. We can make it right. So like this one here, you can make it bottom. So like this, or you can turn it off completely. The one that I really like is the right one. So we choose reading pane right. So let's go back again to the change view and we choose, for example, compact once again, and we can play around again for the reading pane and all these other informations or settings that we have over here. You can change this option here, which says use tighter spacing. You see every time that I click on this one, you'll see tighter spacing and you see more emails on this place. I don't want to do that. So I'll just take it like that. You can adjust the to do bar. For example, over here, you can put on the right people. You can put the tasks here on the right, or you can just turn it off. And if you don't want to overload this right part of your outlook, if you want to play more, you click over view settings and over here you have more detailed or more specific settings that you can adjust for your outlook. But I believe that by using this option like change view and you play around with these three options here and then you click over the layout, you can fix and you can adjust the layout of your email how you like. One thing that you should keep in mind is that after you have adjusted this change view options, you click over apply current view to the other email folders. So the same logic will be applied for your drafts, for your sent items, etc., etc. So now another option how you can reset the settings of your views to the default options is by using run command. I'll show you how you do that. You go at search and you just type here run and then you open the application run. And then over here you have to write this command. Before you apply this command, you should keep in mind that your Outlook should be closed. So we close our Outlook and then we apply the command. So we click over OK. So the full command is clean views. So outlook.exe slash clean views. I'll put this command on the description below so you can just copy and paste it on your run command and then you click over OK. Make sure you type the name correctly and try it again. Let's have a look. Probably I missed the space here. So we need a space here and let's try it again. Good. Now it's working. Here we are. It's 
resetting the view and this is the default view of my Outlook, which actually is pretty nice. It's pretty much the same that I configured by using the settings that I have on the Outlook. So basically that's all that I wanted to share with you guys. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and make a thumbs up to our video. And if you want to hear more videos like this, please stay tuned in our channel. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.